Well, welcome to Mortuary Science. I'm David Hess, I'm the program director. And in Mortuary Science, we teach students how to be funeral directors and embalmers, working in funeral homes, crematories, cemeteries, and even other industries. In the Mortuary Science program, you don't only just study about the sciences like embalming, chemistry, pathology, anatomy, uh, even we have restorative art, even though it's called art, it, it's a science because we will talk about uh, facial features, the bony structures of the face, how to reconstruct a face, uh, but in, we teach also color theory in restorative art. You have the social sciences like funeral directing, psychology and counseling, sociology. This teaches us how to deal with the public and work with people, especially in funeral directing where we learn about other religions, and all cultures, and how to deal with the dead of all cultures, not just our particular own. So along with the sciences and social sciences, we have the business aspect of funeral service. And you have to take courses like accounting, business law, mortuary law, and funeral home management. So we accept up to 25 students each year. It is a selective admissions process uh, that you will have to fill out an application to get in. Uh, but once you are in the program, you'll go four straight semesters, and at the end, you will take uh, an exam called the National Board Exam. This exam will allow you to get your license in almost every state in the country. Now, each state has their own license requirements, but by going through our program as an accredited program, you can take that exam to get your license. And we are the only program within the state of Utah and the next closest is in Colorado and in Oregon and in California. Hi, I'm Micah Iverson. Uh, I am a student here at Salt Lake Community College in the Mortuary Science Program. It's a two-year program. I am almost in year two. Uh, just crossing over that threshold right now. Um, as you can see, I'm gray, I'm older, but this is a program for the young and the old. Our, our ages uh, in our cohort right now, or, the, or our class this year is, is ranging from 19 to 38. And I know we've had older uh, in previous classes, but uh, it's a wonderful program taught by wonderful, caring, uh, experienced uh, teachers. Um, those who teach us are, are, are ones who have uh, the experience necessary to get us uh, to where we need to be in, in the funeral service industry. Um, so that's what I hope to be, is a licensed funeral director. It is a, a license that you have to have through the state of Utah. Um, I am currently an apprentice, meaning I have passed a, a test and I can do everything a funeral director can do, a licensed funeral director can do but I have to do it with a, another licensed funeral director. So as, as of right now, uh, I am a, a, an apprentice. You have to serve an apprenticeship um, so you can become a fully licensed director. Uh, I actually don't live in the Salt Lake Valley. Uh, I live over the hill over in Price, Utah. And uh, it's a program though where you can travel. We have another student here who uh, is from Idaho. So we get, every, we get a lot of people from all over the valley but also from other states as well to come to this program. It's, it's becoming more popular, uh, I, I think because of its central location here in the Salt Lake Valley, but also because it's putting out quality funeral directors. And I think that's a, uh, that just goes to show you the quality instructors that we have here in, with David Hess and, and Jeff Zeely. Um, so it, it is a program for all men and women alike, and that's something that we're seeing more often is uh, many more women in the industry. And I think it's a welcome addition because of the, the caring nature that women uh, possess and, and can show to families in their, in their time of need. I got into this not on purpose, if, if I can be blunt. Uh, I have, a, I have a, a college degree in another field, but uh, I say that this, uh, this job found me. And uh, I think some people want to do this from a young age, I have met people who have wanted to do this from a young age, but then there are others who get into it other ways. And that's the way I got into it was another way. But I'm proud to serve families. That I'm, I've, since I was a young person, I was a people person. And 
and in this industry, you are dealing with pe dealing with people at a uh, a very hard time, to say the least, when they have just lost a loved one. And, and sometimes you're the first person they see after the death of a loved one, and you're one of the last people that they see before uh, the uh, the loved one is either buried or cremated. And uh, you have a unique responsibility and opportunity to serve a family, to really serve them, to give them and their loved their deceased loved one. Um, the service that they want and desire and to help them through, through the grieving process. Um, we're sort of like um, not only a director, uh, meaning you direct them in the things that they need to do during the funeral process, but you're also in the back room embalming, which is the care for the deceased. And, and there's, a, there's a lot to learn, but it, it, the, one of the most interesting aspects of this job is to take a person from when they pass to get them to what they look like, fully dressed in the casket as you see behind me. Um, it's a very fulfilling um, uh, way to honor the dead um, and, and to serve the family at a time of need. The advice that I would give a, a boy or a girl or a man or a woman who wanted to get into this field is to be serious about it as you would any profession that you choose. Do something that you're passionate about. If you love people, the health industry, whether it's mortuary science, whether it's nursing, um, is, is a fulfilling career where you get to serve people at a hard time. Um, and to help them through the process is, is, is very, very fulfilling. And you go home knowing that you did a good job and that you helped people. Another aspect that I would say uh, a student needed to have is you, you need good grades. You, you need to be a good student. You want to be a lifetime learner. Because in the, whether it's the nursing field or whether it's the mortuary science field, you have to keep learning. You can't be set in your ways. If you want to be a lifelong learner, this is, a, this is the industry for you. Because you're constantly going to learn how to do your job better. And, and a person who uh, can, can be flexible, who uh, wants to get up in the middle of the night and do a job right, and do a job that is, is sometimes difficult to do, um, but uh, it, it's a fulfilling job nonetheless.